in presidential and local elections, and turnout is expected to be extremely high for one interesting reason. Voting is obligatory in Brazil. Yes. <laughs> it's basically illegal not to vote in Brazil, a well-intentioned law. The problem is, when you make something obligatory, people resent it. And when they resent it, they fuck with it. <laughs> Which has led to a proud tradition of joke protest candidates in Brazil going back to 1959, when Sao Paulo actually elected a rhinoceros to the city council. <laughs> now, yes. Now, her ballots... Her ballots were sadly disqualified after they realised what had happened, so the second-place candidate took office, a penguin in a bowler hat. <laughs> But the beauty is, candidates even get free airtime on Brazilian TV, whether they are joke candidates or not. So election season this year has been spectacular, <laughs> thanks to candidates like Jesus, <laughs> Satan, and of course, Osama Bin Laden, <laughs> as well as multiple President Obama impersonators, <laughs> one of whom looks almost bizarrely not like Barack Obama. <laughs> What is he trying to appeal to? I'm really trying to win voters who love Barack Obama, but who are also racist enough to think that I look like him. That's my demo. But, but perhaps my favourite candidate this year is this guy, Paolo Bautista, who seems to be running on a platform of having laser vision that can transform the country, and who ends the ad by flying through space for 20 solid seconds. We have not edited this. This is genuinely how his campaign ad ends. He's hurtling through space, hypnotising you into voting for him. And that is how you win over undecided voters right there. So let's all remember these. Let's... Let's all remember these ads the next time someone complains to you about the craziness of America's political ads. Because until we are choosing between Jesus, Satan, and a hypnotic Superman, we are not as strange as we think we are. And finally, finally this week, uh, there was some important news from the world of sports.